Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tech Twins. This is Mark, and today I'm going to be covering the topic of LinkedIn, and specifically I'll be scrolling through my personal LinkedIn account, and I'll be telling you how I used it to leverage my first internship at Microsoft. So I have my computer right here, and I'll be scrolling through my LinkedIn. The main purpose that I wanted to make this video is because a lot of students are not fully leveraging LinkedIn from what I've seen. And so you can leverage LinkedIn in, in multiple ways, but the main way is that it's an online version of your resume and it works for you even while you're sleeping. So the recruiters can search you up and find you and message you about opportunities. And that's actually what happened with me about my internship at Microsoft. So let's just dive right in. I have my LinkedIn account right here. And just for full disclosure, if you're still starting out in college, please don't compare your LinkedIn to mine because I'm actually just about to graduate. So the amount of experience that I have is gonna be pretty different. So right here I have my picture and then my name. And then this is my headline. And it's basically to say, like if someone looks at your LinkedIn, what is a one line that will make them wanna click further? And so for me, I put my experience as a program manager intern at Apple and Microsoft. And then I also have the two majors that I'm studying at UC Berkeley. And then some of that kind of handily shows up on the side right here. So then the next section is summary. So I try to make this personable while also making the person who's reading it want to keep reading it. So I'm one of two students in the UC Berkeley class of 2019 studying both engineering and business. The other person is my twin brother, Andrew, who might look a bit familiar. And then I put previous work experience, some things that I'm interested in, and then also that I value being a nice person. I think that kind of humanizes it and it's also something that is personal to me. So starting with experience, I guess I'll just dive right in. This coming fall, I'm going to be teaching a course to UC Berkeley freshman and sophomore engineering students. It's called Intro to Engineering. And it's basically about resumes, personal branding, how to stand out, things like that, and building a community on campus. So that's something that I actually recently added. Okay, so then the next one is what I'm doing right now. I'm a mechanical engineering program manager for Microsoft Surface. I don't think you have to put that much detail within the description of your experience if you think that the experience will intrigue the reader and make them want to call you. Because at the end of the day, whether it's your resume or it's your LinkedIn, it's all serving as a platform to showcase who you are. And if people want to meet you, then they can contact you. That's really why I don't put all of my information on here. So last summer I did a similar thing. I was also a program manager at Microsoft from May to August 2018, just in a slightly different team. Then before that, I worked at Apple for eight months as an engineering program manager on the Mac team. I put that here, also just one line explaining what I did. Then uh, after my freshman year, I interned at this company called ACO Engineered Systems. It's a heating, ventilation, air conditioning company, and I was a project engineer, which means that I was doing a lot of scheduling and project management type stuff. And then I did some research in high school at the University of California, San Diego. So I put that here. Okay, so the next section that I put, and I'm pretty sure you can order the sections how you want. So my recommendation is put the most interesting stuff at the top. So this is my education. I have at the top that I study mechanical engineering at UC Berkeley. And here I have some clubs that I'm involved in. I study business administration at the Haas School of Business at UC Berkeley. So I put that here too. Then I also studied abroad, put that here, and I put my high school. So with this, I think you just want to convey that you're qualified, adding as much detail as you want. This is what I thought was sufficient. Okay, so then I put my courses because I felt like as a mechanical engineering and business student, that's pretty unique, at least at my school. So I wanted to highlight what that actually meant in terms of coursework. So here's all the coursework that I have taken, and you can, I guess you can pause the screen on this if you'd like. It basically shows that I went deep into mechanical engineering, but also deep into business administration. And these are two topics that I'm interested in. So then a project, this YouTube channel, the Tech Twins, I mean, maybe you know this, but the goal of this YouTube channel is to inspire students and prepare them to get jobs in the tech industry because it's something that both my brother and I feel like is kind of mystical. It's hard to get in. It's one of those industries where it seems like you need to know someone 
but we were able to break in without having prior connections. So we want to share what we're learning while we're here. And I have a publication that came from a freshman year engineering class. So I don't know, I thought that was kind of cool. So I put that. Test scores. So the ACT is for getting into college and then the GMAT is for business school. Then I put organizations. So I have a speaker series that my brother and I co-founded in the College of Engineering. This is to help students get internships, overcome failures, and just build community within the college. And I'd say this one, the Momentum Speaker Series, is actually pretty interesting because it's been highlighted in a few different interviews for scholarships and internships. So if you're interested in doing something extracurricularly in college and you're an engineering student, then you can start a chapter of this speaker series and there is the website right here. It's called engineering.berkeley.edu forward slash momentum. And then I'm half Armenian, so I put that I'm involved in the UC Berkeley Armenian Student Association. So my mom is Armenian. I was involved with Engineers for a Sustainable World for a year, and I was the VP of Public Relations. Put that there, and then this again is the course that I'm teaching in the fall. LinkedIn is a powerful tool, so definitely utilize it. One thing is having an account but another thing is taking it further and contributing to the community via posting and connecting with people who are in places where you wanna be. That's something that I've been doing for the past few years and it's allowed me to reach people who I didn't think I could reach before. So definitely take advantage of your LinkedIn account. You might be thinking, okay, it's so easy for you to have a LinkedIn account or say that, you know, build a personal brand because I have had experience working in the tech industry but I personally believe, because I didn't have that much experience at the beginning of college, that it's just as much as you put into it. And if you have a positive attitude, and if you're reaching out to people, people will respond, you will build a network. And through that network, you'll be able to at least learn what these companies are looking for, go further and eventually get a job in the tech industry if that's what you're looking for, or connect with other people who have similar interests. So that's it for this week. Thank you for watching the Tech Twins. I hope this was helpful, I'm kind of just going through my LinkedIn account and commenting on, I guess, what I was thinking and why I put these pieces of information there. If you have any questions, comment below. Both my brother and I will be happy to answer them. And if you want us to review your LinkedIn profiles, just comment those below as well. But yeah, see you next week.